Welcome back to the most news in the morning. Now, you saw it here in American Morning, a Georgia congressman in a heated back and forth over health care reform. Then he finds a swastika painted on the sign at his office outside of Atlanta. Congressman David Scott says he believes it happened because of the health care debate. He joins us live from Atlanta this morning to talk more about this. Thanks for being with us, Congressman. First Thank of all, you for having I'm me. sure that was a very disturbing sight. Uh, when did you first see it and what was your reaction? Well, I saw it uh, uh, when I got to my office. My staff uh, woke me up in the morning and said what was on there. And, uh, and then I, as soon as I got to the office, I saw it. I was just simply appalled. This symbol um, uh, it represents the most heinous period in world history, uh, indicative of uh, man's greatest inhumanity to man, where nearly six million Jewish people and others were murdered purposely. Uh, by the Adolf Hitler. So when you reach that point to go and this is a, how this individual wanted to express their concern about this health care debate, this is very, very dangerous. Uh, and it's part of others that uh, things we received in the mail, like for example this, which depicts President Obama as a clown with the uh, swastika in his forehead, deaf to uh, Marxists, foreign and domestic, meaning uh, some of the concerns of birth is having. It says to nigger David Scott, you were, you are, and you shall forever be a nigger, and the Ethiopian cannot make himself white. I mean, this is just outrageous. It has no place in this debate. We need to bring to the American people and explain to them what the public option means without the tension, because that is the trigger. That is the mechanism that does the two most essential things we must do, bring down the cost of health care, while at the same time expand it so we can provide health care coverage for others. We well, need Con to take Congressman, time. hold on. You said yes. a lot of things there, so I want to get to it. First of all, in your years as uh, serving the community, in your years as uh, you know, being in public mm -hmm. office, have you ever received anything like that before? Is this a ratcheting up <laughs> of uh, people's emotions? It obviously is. And no, I have not. Uh, I have excellent, excellent relationships. I happen to represent the kind of district that is very, very diverse. Uh, this happened in Cobb County and Smyrna. I love Smyrna and Cobb County. Uh, I've served them well. It does not speak for them. Um, and uh, it, it just speaks for this one individual as this other information does. But we cannot uh, dismiss this casually. There is bubbling up under this debate, unfortunately, the overtones as this presents of hate, of racism, of all of these things. But we must have the resolve that hate, racism, this swastika cannot be the arbiter of this debate. You know, it's, it, it really is mind-boggling. We take a look at, uh, you know, the, 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 the night of uh, President Obama's election, and regardless of where you stood, you know, ideologically speaking, regardless of where you were on the political spectrum, there was a lot of, I think, optimism about where we were heading as a country. Now we fast forward, you know, through these 200 plus days, and it, it, what is it about this health care debate that seems to have brought out the worst in so many people as we're discussing what everybody wants, which is, which is uh, to figure out solutions to our collective problems. Well, first of all, I think that, uh, and this, my, uh, my situation all of this has been a realization that it has become politicized. From the very beginning, when Rush Limbaugh says, uh, well, we don't want him to succeed. We don't want President Obama to succeed. Yeah, I want him to fail. Well, Obama, I mean, uh, uh, Rush Limbaugh has an extraordinary audience. And many of them feel very strongly and, and are influenced by him. Then you have Senator DeMint saying, well, we got his Waterloo on this uh, health care. We can kill him and defeat him. Well, there are people out there that want to defeat, don't want to see the president succeed. We should encourage, we should be encouraged that here's a president that is willing to tackle the most difficult issue we are facing. And uh, we should give him a chance to do that. But I think the tone has been set there. So you find people who will come in and hijack these meetings for the purpose of expressing that. Mm. That's and, well, not and everyone. Speaking of that, and sp I know, I know you're say speaking of that, there was a heated exchange that happened at a meeting that you were uh, speaking at. It wasn't even a meeting on health care, but let's just play a little bit of what went, went down there. All right. Don't come and take advantage of what these individuals have done. You want a meeting with me on health care? I'll give it to you. That was after a, a doctor by the name of Brian Hill asked you a health care related question. What and I want to ask since? you this. First of all, uh, the young lady that brought that tape, they weren't even there to cover it at WXIA. And since that time, they have recognized that that tape was taken out of context. 
and they uh, did that. I love the people at WXIA, but, uh, but they weren't there, and that tape was done and edited and put up. What the audience didn't know was my reference when you said, but don't come in here and take advantage of what these individuals put together. There's an African-American community in Douglasville, basically, that has a six-lane road coming through it. They worked six months to put this together. Their homes, their businesses, 68 of them, would be uh, were demolished. The African-American community and the Hispanic community were very concerned that they might be disenfranchised. So they put this meeting together. It was about that. They, the doctors and everybody else bombarded that meeting and wanted to change it to make it what they wanted it to be. So I had to stand up and defend my constituents in Douglasville that had worked to put that meeting together. So when what you happened have, since then when you spoke with the doctor? I mean, did you guys arrange a meeting together? Because you said if you want to debate or you want to have a town hall about health care, we can do that, just well, we're not gonna at this have time. That. So what exactly. happened? Exactly. We're going to have it this Saturday at Mondays Mill High School in Clayton County in my district. Do you think it's going to be uh, civil? I hope it will. I think it will. And uh, my pleasure is that it will because, look, I'm in the middle of this. I am very much in the middle of bring, being a part of the glue that brings these divergent proceedings together. I'm the only member of Congress that's a member of the Blue Dog Coalition, the Congressional Black Caucus, and the New Dems. I cover the waterfront. So I'm in a position, and that's what I want to do. And I just want to take a time here, if I may, because the health care debate is so important, that we, we have to take time, and I want to take time, to be able to communicate with the American people and put the right story out about uh, this is not a death panel. This is not a, a, a bill that has abortion. The Hyde Amendment has outlawed federal funds to be used for that. The people need to know that. They need to know the public option is there for people who don't have insurance and to act as a mechanism to offer competition to the other insurance companies to make sure we can bring the prices down. We're not going to be able to do that with them. So they're very technical. This is a technical, it's a complex issue. But there are issues out there that are being blown out of proportion and so I want to spend my time doing that. Well, we do it in right. the healthcare debate and answer all of the right. questions. Well, perhaps one of the good things that come out, comes out of all of this is that people are uh, better informed and hopefully will, will be better informed about the process and about what ultimately happens. Meantime, we're sorry about the uh, situation that happened outside your office, as we understand that the FBI is now investigating, along with yes. the Smyrna police and the Capitol police at the same time, about uh, who put that swastika out there. Uh, Congressman David Scott, thanks for joining us this morning. My pleasure, and thank you very much for having me. Yeah. Mm -hmm.